up? It's your girl, Mena, and in this video, it's very casual. Let me know if you like the casual nature of this. I'm literally just using daylight. It's cloudy outside, so this is actually the perfect daylight. I don't have the sun flaring and just ruining things. I was inspired to sit on the floor because, first of all, I sit on the floor very often when I'm doing my Bible study on that side of my studio. But I was inspired to do the floor sit down situation because I enjoy watching videos where the YouTuber is sitting down. It just feels more casual. It just feels more personal. Like it just feels like it's more relational, you know? In this video, I wanna show you a whole bunch of new products that I have that I have not tried that I want to try. So if you think about it, I guess you can call this an unboxing, but not really because I've already opened all of these things. I just haven't gotten around to using them. Okay, it's not gonna include many skincare items because I already put the majority of my skincare items in my Alex drawer. First of all, Sephora Squad sent me a huge bag of makeup, but I already took the stuff out. So these aren't necessarily items from Sephora Squad. I just put it in the bag because I needed somewhere to put it. And then I have this other box right here full of stuff that I've been acquiring for the past several months. After I've opened it and decided what I wanna do, I need to find somewhere to put them. I need to actually use them. Okay, I'm gonna end up putting them back in the box. So I should just dump it all out. <laughs> I'm gonna just dump it out. And then put them back in the box. I'm so irritated. This better not make any mess on my rug. I don't have time for this. Ooh. Okay, this is from Pop Beauty. Never heard of Pop Beauty until they sent me things. So I appreciate that. This is an illuminating, illuminating prismatic powder. Okay. Uh, I, the color though, this ain't gonna go on my face. I'm gonna give it away. Where's this gonna go? Where am I putting that? I have no idea where I would put that. So I'm gonna give this away. Ooh, excuse my nails. I put a nail hardener on and it's peeling. <laughs> Moving on, hi. Oh, Giorgio Armani. I was, this is the Giorgio, <laughs> Giorgio. This is the Giorgio Armani Neo New True Skin Natural Glow Foundation. I was on a Zoom call with them a month or so ago and I got other things from them as well. I don't know where they are. They're probably in my drawer and I've been meaning to try this out. Ah, this is a natural glow foundation. I'm trying to remember if they said that this can go underneath foundation because I don't do natural glow. I don't do foundation, it's either, it's either all or nothing. It's not half and half. It's not like a little bit. It's not like, oh, a little bit of tint, no. And what did they say? I think this could go underneath foundation. I cannot remember what they said, but I think that this can go underneath foundation. So yes, I am gonna put this in the box because I do plan to try that out. Artist Couture also sent me this huge PR box and I took out the items that I know I wasn't gonna use to use for giveaways. I do giveaways randomly. I just spot you in the comments or my DM and I just ask you for your information. I just do it randomly just as a way to say thank you and also clear my studio of unnecessary hoarding. I don't like that. I like to just share the love in case you can use it so that it's not going to waste. So I did that and here, I, I tried one of the lipsticks out. It was cool on me, like a neutral. Mm, it wasn't neutral, it was cool, like gray in tone and I felt it was looking a little ashy on me. Although I posted the video and y'all loved it on IG and I was like, what, really? Okay, fine. These are a few of the other lipsticks. See, this even looks ashy. What? It looks cool. It's cool toned and warm toned lipsticks look better on me. We'll see. I put these here because I want to try them out. This is Angel Baby and this is Power Play. So these are old, but they sent them and I appreciate that. And then they're loose highlighters. This one is Yes, and this is Gold Digger. What's hard about loose highlighters is that they're messy and the application usually isn't even. You have to be really good at applying loose highlighter to get it right. And it can go really wrong very quickly. I prefer pressed highlighters, but this was free. It was sent to me and I appreciate it. So I do want to try them out and I have it here in that box for that very reason. Okay, these came in from, what was it? Ciate London? There are three of these, smiley face, colored mascaras. I actually do wanna use this. It's a colored mascara. And I remember when I worked at MAC, we used to actually crush up some of the eyeshadow and then use their mixing medium and then mix it into a mascara wand and then roll it around. And then we would put it on our bottom lashes. So we had colored lashes. That is literally how we did it back in the day. And if you are a MAC freelancer, or if you did this at a different counter, or comment and let me know. It was the coolest thing ever. So I have it in pink, yellow, and teal. I got these Fenty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balms. I've yet to try these out. My only hesitation with these is that they're tinted lip balms. And I like full coverage everything. These are gonna end up being very light and not very pigmented, which is not really my thing. But I do wanna try them out, so. It might be late, I don't care. Products are products. Do you lose interest in a product after the hype has gone down? 
down. I'm not that kind of person. I also have this e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Carnival Candy. This is really cute. Bobbi Brown. I don't have anything from them. This is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base and the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. So this is skincare. I do want to try this out. This needs to go in my skincare drawer. So let me put this over here. Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Primer. And this is the Stripped Nude Skin Tint in the color Deep Saint 10. It's not deepest. <laughs> deep Saint 10 or Deep ST 10. Okay. This is an eyeshadow. No, this is a blush. This one's pretty cool. Ooh, this mirror is nice and clean and clear and under control. <laughs> What, what, what commercial is that? This is cute. Look at this blush. Some way or another. I never got around. <laughs> Becca Zero. I never did a video on this. You know what? Okay, it's called foundation because it's the base. It's, it's just like the first step, if you will. But this is not supposed to go under makeup. And I saw lots of people using this under makeup. Skincare does go under makeup, so I know why people were doing that. But obviously, because I was on the call, I, I learned that it's not supposed to go on under makeup. Yeah, I do, I do still wanna use this, so I'm gonna put this skincare stuff right here. I got this from Milk. This was, I think, from Sephora Squad. I can't remember. Winged eyeliner stamp and pen. I don't know if I wanna, I don't, I don't wanna do a stamp. Winged eyeliner stamp, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna give this away. I don't wanna do that. I'm not interested in this. So let me give this away. Oh, Coco Bling, another artist couture. Shadow, what we got here? Shadow Flip. Okay, Ciate London. My multi-chromatic shifting liquid shadow by Ciate London. This, oh yes. Look at how beautiful that is. Definitely gonna use this in a video. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's three of them. Yes, 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 yes. Live, rot, live, rot, live. There are three of these and they're so cute and they shift colors. Okay, Benefit also sent me things, which was my first time getting Benefit products. I was very thrilled about that too. Thank you so much, Benefit. I got their, is this the Hula bronzer? What is this called? Oh, no, 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 the bronzer I gave away because it wasn't my color, but this is definitely the blush. This is called Living the California Dream. Is that the name of the blush? I don't know. This one's really cute. And then I got their brow stuff. So this is precisely my brow and I tried it. It's really great. This is a 24 hour brow setter and this is the brow filling, brow micro filling pen. We had a Zoom call on this as well and it's got these strokes in it. So when you do your brows, it literally looks like you're doing microblading. Comment and let me know which of these you you find most interesting so I can know how to prioritize these videos because it's just gonna be a lot. And then we got holiday sets coming out. I've gotten a few, but girl, it just be a lot, you know? It just be a lot. I actually wanna film a daylight makeup video or two or three, cause this lighting is really good. And then my vlogging camera, this is my Canon G7X. Ooh, Tatcha Luminous Dewy. Skin mist. Have I used this? I think I used it one time. No, 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 no. I don't think I've ever, I've ever used it. Cannot wait to use this. It just feels so heavy. It's glass. It's really nice. I don't really do the dewy skin thing, you know. For instance, I have on Fenty right now, 450 foundation, and it's the matte one. And my natural oils are peeking through on my nose and my chin, which is fine. I do feel like I want to get tissue and blot <laughs> my face down a little bit, you know. Okay, I have these Juvia's Place eyeshadows. These are the new ones that came out. I have the other ones, so I'm gonna add these to the collection. We have the mauve, we've got the taupes, and then we've got sweet pinks. Also wanna use these, you know? Also wanna use these. Let me know if you have any interest in seeing a video on those. Elf, I got some stuff from Elf. This is the liquid glitter eyeshadow in the color Mermaid Shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, yo, shimmy, yo, shimmy, yo. And the eye putty primer in the color black. All right, so if you're doing a smoky eye and you're using black, the easiest way to go is to put on a black base. Then you put a black eyeshadow on top and you really, it like does half of the work for you because you've based your eye with black. These are kind of fancy, not kind of, they are fancy, okay? Givenchy, all right? Givenchy sent these powder situations. Givenchy, okay, Givenchy sent these powders. I don't even know what to do with these. <laughs> Like, because of Givenchy, you know, it just feels very je je vu vu, you know, very vu je vu vu. I, I don't know what I'm doing with these, bless God. So, first of all, the back is in Spanish, or is this Italiano? This is not Spanish. Why did I say Spanish? I'm irritated. I want to say French. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed by that. This is not Spanish. It is not French. It is, it's gotta be Italian, you know? I don't know for sure. Yeah, I don't know what this is. There was a paper that came with it. I don't know where I put that thing. I've had this for quite a while. <laughs> 
I don't know what to do with this. I do know that it's Givenchy. I feel like this is a setting powder, maybe a color correcting powder. Girl, I don't know what is going on, but it's Givenchy, okay? And you know, I think we kind of cherish the, the luxury brands. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna figure her out. I'm gonna figure her out, all right? Maybelline sent me this box of all kind of stuff. Concealers, mascara, eyeshadow, beauty balms. And I packaged a whole bunch that weren't my color match. And then I kept this one. Did I keep two? I kept just one, jeez. All right, this is their Deep Sheer Tint Skin Hydrating Beauty Balm with SPF, okay? This is the color 140. I do love the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation. I wear Deep Cool. This is a lip product. The color is, I have no idea. Anti-transfer up to 24 hour wear. So am I wearing this to bed? I don't know. I put this in here. I'm gonna try this out, okay? Oh, and Becca, Becca sent me two of these. One is medium deep, one is light medium or something like that. This is a an under eye brightening corrector. So it's supposed to help it looks like a concealer. It's supposed to help offset, I think, darkness around the eyes and then brighten it, but then you put concealer on top. So we'll see. I do want to try this because I don't have dark eye circles, but but I still want to try this out. Artistry Studio Hydro Prime, a light hydrator, primer. It's a gel, it inst instantly hydrates, blurs, mattifies, and primes. How does it hydrate and mattify and blur? I wanna try this out. <laughs> Girl, I'm so irritated by this. Okay, so this is part of my Sephora Squad box that came in months ago. This is from Melt Cosmetics. I'm so irritated because of the shiftiness of it, and it's called 420. The colors are beautiful. I'm not into marijuana. Okay, you know, it's beautiful. <laughs> like why? This is really beautiful though. Aside from what it's talking about, you see all my wires in the camera. Hi, hello. The colors are so, just so beautiful. They're cool, but they seem neutral. Gosh, they're like, this color right here is called blunt. <laughs> You know, the color is beautiful. I have not used this shadow palette yet, but I really want to, and I'm going to. These colors are out, like off the chain. And Esther actually did that eyeshadow look, a full face look, but the eyeshadow she used, she did a brown all over her eyelid, and looking at this, I'm sure she used Roll It on her eye. Oh my gosh, it looks so good on her. It just has this ashy, cool, awesome brown tone. It, it, like it's, you know, every brown's on the same brown. Right, every brown is just not the same brown, and it, it, it just looked amazing. So I do look forward to using that. I'm gonna put that in this box. Now that is everything in this box, okay? There, there, there aren't that many things in this bag, but let's go through it, okay? If you're enjoying this semi unboxing, I want you to comment and let me know because if this is something that you actually like, then perhaps I'll keep the items in the boxes and then unbox them, and so we can all look at them together. So let me know. All right. So okay. So part of that big mail out that I got from artist couture was this supreme nudes palette i know you've seen it because it's old but i still want to use it then i got this sigma untamed palette it's just so beautiful the velvet on the top it's so cute and here are the colors they do resemble the melt palette just a little bit especially the green and the orange like a cinnamon yellow like a yellow orange just very fall so i look forward to trying this oh natasha denona but i did try these out this is a very pricey palette but i understand why because the shadows aren't dusty they are creamy it's a beautiful palette like i understand why it costs so much i understand but it was sent to me so praise the lord <laughs> One Size sent me their PR box and in it was this Patrick Star Visionary eyeshadow palette. These colors are mainly cool, cool colors. I already see my crease color right here, easy smoky eye color. I can mix these in the crease maybe. This can be a lid color if I wanted it to. I could stick right here and do a combination. I mean, there are options. You've got this random blue in here, but it does give you some options. Like for instance, this could be an eye trio, right? Like on the lid, maybe like in the crease crease there are some options in here the only two warm colors i see are right here are right here but we can do something with this and i do plan on doing that so you know i gotta tell you when it was in the box i thought something was wrong because look at how it has an angle i was like excuse me is this thing broken but it's intentionally angled like it, it just it's just i was just like wait did they send me i was like did they send me a defected <laughs> eyeshadow palette like why is this thing not even 
That's the way it is. Fenty sent me two holiday sets. I did a video for IGTV with the gloss holiday sets, and this is their the two little oh two little stunners mini long wear fl fluid lip color. So this is another set that I got. Isn't that so cute? That's funny. This is underrated and unmatched. So these are really cute. Becca. Oh, so with what Becca sent me, they were. Uh, let me dump this out. Wow. So many things. Bless the name of Jesus. All this makeup, my God, I never I never thought this day would come. I never thought the day would come where I would have more makeup than I can actually fathom to use. <laughs> I never thought this day would come. Like, I don't even know what's happening right now. So, where we at? I bought this when Sephora was having a sale. This is the matte Born This Way. I haven't tried it out. I hope truffle is my color. I don't even know, when is the return window? because if it's not my color, I haven't used this. And I bought this like a month ago. When can I return to Sephora? I don't know, I'm on the squad. Would they make exceptions? I have no idea. I haven't tried this. This looks so red already. This looks so red. I mean, usually I can make red work, but this looks so red. You know, because of COVID, you can't even get color matched. And I had to, dang it, this looks red. I had to do the matching online. And sometimes it's not, like all the way perfect. Oh dear God. Okay, I have truffle in the one this way matte. I have seven C2 Sienna in this one. I don't know, I hope it works. But I did buy these two. And I also bought this. This one I was in store when I grabbed it and the lady was convinced that this is my color. Y545. Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I used to have an Ultra HD foundation a minute ago and it was really red. Did I finish it or did I give it away? And I gave it away. I don't know what color it was. I hope this wasn't the color because if it is, I wasted my $45, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, girl. Becca sent a whole bunch of stuff. I have their Velvet Blurring Primer and what is, oh, I can't even read it. First Light Priming Filter. Why is this purple? Did this work on my skin? This is purple. I don't know. We we'll see. <laughs> We gonna find out. Oh, I also have a gloss from Becca, champagne creme. <laughs> you know, not cream creme. Mm -hmm. And then, did they send this? Did I buy this? They sent it. Did I buy this? They sent this. The ultimate 24 hour. This looks really light. This has got to be the winter color. This is not my color right now. This might be the winter color. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be my color. I have another one from them that's kind of pink. I do make it work. That was in my boxy charm. But this, I don't recall buying, so we'll see. And then these came in recently. They're lipsticks. They have Ultimate, oh wait, it's called Ultimate Lipstick Love. And they're very hydrating with hyaluronic acid, ultra creamy, pure pigment. So I have a bunch of these that I do want to try out eventually. We got a nice red up in here. It's called Crimson, you know. Ooh, I like how that popped. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Ooh, this is... This is like a fire engine red. Isn't that gorgeous? This is a fire engine red. How cute is that? I don't wear red often, but when I do, y'all be hyping me up, you know? All right, oh, part of the Patrick Star situation ship liners, I put them away already. See, I put some stuff away, I don't even know why. Like liners and mascara, oh, I do, ha I do have mascaras, don't I? Yeah, so like mascaras and liners, I put those away because the container that I use, that I put on my desk when I'm getting ready, just has an assortment of liners and an assortment of mascaras in them, assortment of lip liners in them, so I just put those away. They're already away, you know? But part of the package were these eyeliners, eye popper, sparkle vision eyeshadow, excuse me, their eyeshadow <laughs> you know liquid eyeshadow toppers these are the eyeshadow toppers right, this was sent this week yo i'm so annoyed whenever <laughs> yo when it's something fancy you gotta change that you gotta change this up a little bit you gotta get a little fancy with it okay it's a fancy line you gotta make your mouth fancy fix your mouth make it fancy okay take your bubblegum out all right this is fancy Givenchy Lent Temporel. Lent, Lent, Lent. oh gosh hold on Givenchy Lent Temporel. I'm so irritated. This is an eye illuminating serum. Listen, I just want to feel fancy, you know? I want to feel rich, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind to pretend, I don't mind to like, to, to step in, you know, for a day. Like, it's fine to like, pretend it's like, you're house sitting for a millionaire. Why not lay down and kick up your feet just for the day? Like, le, 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 mm. hold on, let's see. Le rose perfecto. Is that, a, is that a Creole accent? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. This is a liquid balm. I should open these, shouldn't I? I'm so annoyed. Givenchy DMV. Ah, Simone, this is serious. Ooh, this is beautiful. Excuse me, do you want to focus? 
If nothing else, this is really pretty. Wow, it's a lip balm. I bet you it has no color. This is what I've learned because Charlotte Tilbury sent me a package months ago and I was very grateful, right? Their lippies have no pigment. Not enough for me. It makes sense. These are olden days type rich household name brands and these rich older people don't really want to wear highly pigmented colorful look at that gecko on the window screen these geckos are getting on my nerves they are all over i can't stand them they don't like a lot of color i don't think because these rich lines don't be full of pigments it's like games these people don't be liking pigment i don't think so you know so their stuff just be you know their stuff kind of be like play makeup to me you know like you playing in something that's mad expensive how what is this this is oh the let's mm -hmm, that thing this is the blossom let me open it because i'm playing I'm playing and that's annoying. You know what I'm saying? We'll try this out though. <laughs> it's Givenchy. I mean, hello. <laughs> this is the eye anti-fatigue. This is the anti-fatigue eye serum. I don't know why I just feel like if it's Givenchy, you know, you kind of have to do something with your throat. This is La Temporelle Blossom Glowing Boost Mask. What are we gonna boost and glow? I just like the pink. If nothing else, I'm all about the blush pink, you know? Anti-fatigue glowing, oh, excuse me, glow boost mask. All right, what do I do with it? It's all these, I got all these languages, Russian, Egyptian, all kinds of shin languages, and I don't know what this what this means. You can barely read because of the, ro the rose gold box, you know? It's not meant to be read, it's just meant to be felt and experienced. Energizes the skin when applied, it gives you this fresh feeling. Do I wash it off? It can be used as a time saver under the shower. Under the shower, not in the shower. We're going under, okay, praise God. But what is going on? After rinsing, facial features seem smoothed and the skin's grain is refined. Really? Wow, all of that? But it doesn't even say, for instance, leave on for 10 minutes. What is this about? These American brands and boxes are more explanatory. All right, well, it is Givenchy after all, you know. I got this Becca Concealer, Ultimate Coverage Long Wear Concealer. This is very light, so this is gonna have to be paired with something else. But this is the color, dang, Becca, I can't even read this, golden. Yo, this thing is that small. This is from Urban Decay. Gosh, it just looks so beautiful. Stoned vibes. I haven't opened this up yet. I want to use it. I really enjoyed their ultraviolet palette. Pricey, but it's beautiful, man. I enjoyed that. Companion. Ooh, look at this. I wish I did my nails for you. You know, not today. Ooh, look at all the jewels. It's like rocks. Ooh, the eyeshadows themselves look like rock. What? Ooh, this definitely looks like crushed. Okay, it is creamy. Companion palette, obviously. Look at this mirror. Cute. Hey. I'm gonna wait. This is so gorge. The last thing to look at is this Barbie, Becca Barbie Ferrera. Barbie Ferrera Ferrera. Ooh. Prismatic. Hey, Prismatica. I think she, yeah, she's Hispanic. Is that the right way to say it? So here we go with pr Prismatica. And then we open the Prismatic. Oh, how do we? Oh, here we go, Prismatica. I don't see any colors for me. It can be used on the face, so eyeshadow or blush, maybe whatever the heart desires. I'm not really wowed with this one. You put it in the box, I'll give this away. I'm not into it, you know, praise the Lord. But that is the end of everything that I wanted to show you. Okay, so what I want you to do is make sure that you are following me on Instagram and obviously here on YouTube. And I will choose one or two giveaway winners. Randomly, you know. Don't need to tell me you want to be considered. I assume that everyone who in engages and interacts with me wants to be considered for free stuff. I mean, who wouldn't want to, you know? Everyone loves free things. Uh, okay, great. Well, I'm grateful for you watching this video. It was a long one. It was a very relaxed one. 
the candle behind me is choking me up a little bit. It's very strong. How are you? Leaves. Got the body. <laughs> that is the end of the video. I'm glad you watched. Thank you so much. Give the video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.